Ten past the hour here in Moscow. He traveled around the world in a London cab. He even went all the way up Everest behind the wheel. And now he's on another adventure. This time, Matt Pryor crossed the frozen expanse of Russia's Lake Baikal on a motorbike. RT's Yegor Piskunov asked the adventurer just what was he thinking? Lake Baikal, motorcycle, how did that happen? Um, well, I came across the idea on the internet, and I just thought this thing appeals to me in so many different ways. Did a little bit more research, looked at Lake Baikal, and just thought this is going to be epic. Once you get onto Baikal and away from um, all the touristy areas, you are literally in the wilderness. There's nothing there, which is the main reason why I wanted to go, really. And, uh, yeah, it's just an amazing experience. Uh, there was a team of eight bikes, and each bike had two people apart from one. And these people are ex massively experienced in their own way, and they're from all corners of the globe. So it was a big international effort to make this happen. Baikal is the deepest lake on Earth and holds a fifth of the planet's fresh water. It is a recognized World Heritage Site that is protected by UNESCO. However, amid all the beauty, danger does lurk beneath the ice. One of the guys, he tried to stop, but he just basically had to gun it in the end. Landed on the icy other side, it all cracked and they were in knee-deep freezing cold water and jumped off the bike pretty quickly. So yeah, seeing that in front of me was, uh, it just, just reminds you that you're actually on a frozen lake. This isn't hard ground and there is a chance you can fall straight through it. So it was a Soviet bike and you had to go over the whole lake. Yeah. The and, biggest in the world. Yeah. <laughs> and the terrain is varied and it's constantly changing. But when you come to one of these ride ups, the only way to get over it, unless you've got a bridge, which we don't have a bridge, is to build a sort of ramp and then just go as fast as possible and hold on. What were the other challenges? Like, where did you sleep? What did you um, eat? We tried to sleep. We slept outside most of the time, in tents. One night we did test all our equipment, just in the sleeping bag, just to see how good the actual stuff was, and more for the experience, because we are on the side of a lake and thought, yeah, we should give this a go. Eating-wise, it was just high-energy food, just to keep things going, basically. Anything that's easy, melted snow at the side of the lake, and just boiled that up. Well, Matt, good luck with your uh, next challenges. I think you probably need it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for Cheers. meeting with us. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, still to come here on the program.